On today's episode of PJ and the Beard, we're going to do an unboxing and a quick look. So let me just put this down and we'll just get... I guess I gotta hold this. So why don't you talk about what, <laughs> what we're doing? I, it's well, kind of, it's like Ricky Bobby. What do I do with my hands? I don't even know. Like the acting is—is um, is it good? Yes, that was from your career. Yes, my, like, on um, most that shows you know, <laughs> that you were on PJ and the Bear. Yeah, the sitcom that you were part of. Oh right, right, right. I don't remember what was it. What was it? Anyway, again, riveting, riveting. So you picked these up on a deal of the day. Yep. So what we have here, because Pat is tired of leaning guitars up against the ottoman, leaning guitars up against the, the chairs or the couch, we've almost we've almost dropped a few. Actually, you dropped number one. I did. Knocked number one over the last time we were here. I did. That's his why I'm pure, playing one of yours, his guitars now, in case I break it. His pure hollow body <laughs> took a nosedive. So he picked up two of these ultimate support guitar stands. This is a newer model. They're the GS1000, I think they are. GS1000. We were, we're both... Um, is that how it came? We're both familiar. That bag just pulled right out. Uh, both familiar with this stand because we both use the stand. Excuse me, let me kick the trash away. Uh, we both use the stand on numerous occasions. So one of the things we like is that that right. Mm -hmm. You pack up pretty nice, easy transport. Um, something new. The stands that I have like mm -hmm. this and that you have like this by Ultimate have a different yoke. I guess would that be what it's called. Okay. Different yoke. This is kind of like was. It's not the. Is it Gibraltar? We think we think it's Gibraltar. We that does this like when you push it down, they actually flip down and close and lock the guitar in. Mm -hmm. Which, um, in my opinion, sorry, ultim is it ultimate? Ultimate. ultimate. Yeah. I'm sorry, is totally unnecessary on the stand. Does, yeah. Because I've never had any issue with stands falling out. And honestly, I think the first one he's ever bought was from Randall Robinson, Triple R guitar. It's amazing that as we've been going through this, the stuff that's popped up that was yeah. bought in his store. Randy who's, always carried good stuff, and this was... Whose birthday was yesterday? So birthday. Happy that, birthday, Randy. Many of us remembered him on, posthumously. So, legs fold down. you got a little thing down here at the bottom that twists. Click. Locks the legs in place so they can't come out. Little clip on the back that you can use to pull the stand up adjust the height because you got a Rickenbacker 4001 base the neck is super long and I'll be honest I see a lot of guys they'll put this up really high <laughs> so the bottom of their guitar is like touching this oh. I always set it like really low so this bottom of the guitar click I'd even go maybe a little bit lower you know, I want it pretty close to the floor. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but um, I'm not going to try and lift it up. I wouldn't. <laughs> I'm not even really comfortable we, with it sitting on the ottoman. We defeat the entire <laughs> purpose of me getting guitar stands for the show for us to bust up a guitar showing the guitar right. stands we got for the show. But I do. I like it to sit really low, lowers the center yeah. of gravity, mm -hmm. so uh, they work really well. Just like that. Stay there. Never fall. Never. I've never had... So I agree with you that it latches, which is fine, but it, it, it sits so far back that you don't really have to worry about it. But Well, and you know the stands, like the old, the three little legs, and then they had kind of the rubber U on them. That moves. <laughs> right. I've lost guitars out of those stands. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. these are just, you can set them kind of close together. So I use two of these at church. They're mm -hmm. set pretty close together. It makes it real, right. real simple. Real nice. I mean, I don't know how much more there is to say. No, it's a guitar stand. It's a guitar stand. And they're but, tried, tried and true for us. Uh, we've used them for years, actually. Uh, we're not endorsed yet. Just want to make that point. Um, very soft. I was like, what is, what, is the, what is it? Velvet down on the legs? Really soft. The guitar velvet. stand. <laughs> velvet. And it's it's actually gold. Uh, in <laughs> it's actually made from an Elvis painting we cut apart right. and wrapped it with. But no, gold we, leaf on the uh, logo. <laughs> and So we're, I was happy to like uh, pick these up and... You can uh, probably in the description because you're the you're the guy that does all the hard work. Put like a link to right. where we can find them on Amazon or something. Or um, so yeah. great stands. I thought saw them and like let's get them for the show. Let's talk about them. Let's not leave guitars laying around uh, while we're getting up and down and turning amps on and off. And so this is what we got. Rock solid. Great idea because I off camera you can't see it, but like right here there's a microphone. There's a light stand behind that. Put that guitar stand right here so now i have a very easy you 
now. Pick oh. number one up just like that. Look at that. How beautiful. Mm-hmm. Perfect. That. And drop it back down. And Pat can't knock it over. So if you if you love to love channels that <laughs> take ten minutes to talk about a guitar stand, you have found a home. And yeah. with that, how do they? What do they do? If well, you, you know, like subscribe. Oh, I see. Right. Hit uh, notifications. Like the video if you're still around, please. We'd appreciate it. I think we're like about four people, six people away from our goal and subscribers, our initial goal and resi- subscribers. So you know, <coughs> hit that button, right. there, guys. Yeah. That. What are they, the YouTubers are like smash like? Right. I mean, you don't need to smash. You just want to click it that time. <laughs> and with that, I think we're out. Right. Yeah. With that, this is PJ on behalf of the Beard reminding you: no matter what you hear, you never have too much gear. And he has no guitar to got, give you an there's, obnoxious there's, 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 XO with, exit with big feedback. There's and, no, I don't know what to do. So I'll go with the Ricky Bobby. What do I, what do I, uh, no copyright infringement. <laughs> I don't know what to do when there's no guitar to strum and have massive feedback. And,